99% of the time, anything I've ever gotten any victory on in my life, it's because I have flipped the script on how yeah. I'm thinking about yeah. over the next couple weeks. If I could like urge you guys to do anything, it would be listen to the way that you talk to yourself through this process. And because if you hear yourself using restrictive language where yeah, I'm taking something away, let me tell you something. The minute you take something away, you, yeah, that is going to be the thing you want. And um, that's not just you. I mean, that is like women from the beginning of time. And I mean that literally, right? You can't have what's on the fruit of this one tree, right? right? <laughs> and that's the one tree I want now, right? So this isn't a new problem. It's not a you problem. It is a humanity problem that you tell me what I can't have. And I'm going to show you that I want that thing 10 times more yeah. now, right? <laughs> And we do it with ourselves. So when even when we make the decision to restrict something and say, I'm going to take this away, instead of, instead of looking at it like that, we've got to change our language to other people and to ourselves to say, I'm choosing not to. I'm choosing better. I'm choosing to change my life. I don't want that. Right. Because that plate full of crap symbolizes where I am right now and why I'm miserable. Yeah. And you've got to start making that mental connection between those things that, that that has brought me misery. And that's where most people are by the time they come to see me. They're miserable. And, um, and, and, but we don't make the connection. And we focus on dropping 10 pounds. Mm -hmm. And when the 10 pounds is gone, that's all we cared about. We didn't make those deep changes. We didn't learn to talk to ourselves different. We didn't learn to stop overeating because we cared about ourselves we stopped doing it because we we just wanted to look skinnier yeah or whatever and and that never lasts and we keep circling that mountain yeah you know and here we are again and here we are again yeah. and we're not spiraling up and here's the news I mean everyone expects this to be I land somewhere everything changes my life is better because I'm thinner and now I'm be a different person but it's not it doesn't work that way you spiral up you know, it, it's like I have this issue and I'm kind of dealing with it here and I've, I've gotten better at it. And now I'm, I'm getting better and I'm leveling up. But here, oh, here it is again. Things that like come around that f make us go back to that thing yeah. and send us back to it. They're coming back. We have to live in this world, right? But this time I'm a little stronger. Yeah. This time I've learned to talk to myself better. This time I'm telling myself I don't. It's not that I can't have it. It's that I don't want it. And I don't want it because it's not leading to a life that makes me feel full and whole and free. Mm -hmm. You know? And really at the end of the day, if you're not doing this and feeling, if you're feeling like suffocated, that's the opposite of what you should be feeling. Right. This should be bringing freedom to your life. Freedom to do more, be more. Right. Able. Right. Embody as well. You know? And all these things. And so... It should be opening up to freedom, and if it feels like it's closing in, then you need to take it slower. Yeah. And that's not what anyone hears, because they don't want to hear that this could take a year. They don't want to hear that it could take six months, a year. It could take you three years. No one wants to hear that. And therefore, we stay here, and in three years, guess what you'll be doing? You'll be circling this again. Yes. Or you could take it slow, learn to be kind to yourself, learn to talk to yourself different, and in those three years, you'll look back and not recognize the person you are right now. Yeah.